Oh, you saw Phil Ball? Yeah, I think I might have COVID. Well, how do you know? Well, don't say But that. I, my smell's good, though. <laughs> <laughs> I smell everything. I smell everything. Oh, I've got something for you, then. I smell everything. Wait, hang on. Can you put your nose directly into my hole and see if you <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> can we start off that way? Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then oh, my that. God. I've Kalala. got something for that on that note. Yeah, let me smell it. I feel like Kalala's just... Right, right in the middle. I feel like you're showing off because you know your whole body... I smell it. <laughs> <laughs> I smell it. It smells good. Wait. It smells did sweet you not, and Did you not wipe Dangerous. Or My wife went to Lucky Boy. Yeah. And she ate the burrito. Three bites in, she was like, I think I have COVID. I cannot taste a thing. Why did Bobby recommend this place so much? What? Hang on. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. You're fucking blaming me. Uh, do you think I work at Lucky Boy and I put you're... COVID in the fucking burrito? No. no she's saying. <laughs> she's <laughs> saying. <laughs> your favorite, you your favorite burrito for? place. It's uh, t- Lucky Boy in Pasadena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, you, what are you saying? That I'm Lucky saying Boy- the, the recommendation. I don't think the recommendation is good. It, it, it Cottage Corner is so much better. I'm gonna. We're gonna fight. I, know, oh, I think fuck. you gotta fire him. And the Cottage Corner, <laughs> Cottage Corner. What is it called? Cottage, cottage Corner. Corner, Corner, Corner is Bank. very good. It's very good. Yeah. Very good. But you take that back right now. The fucking breakfast burrito at Lucky Boy is in the top five in LA. It is certainly right? is, George. And, and I'm I can't. Sorry, yeah. I, I'm sorry yeah. that at some point, either pregnancy or fatherhood, <laughs> yeah. in the way of your actual palate. Yeah. But you are absolutely. F- wrong i took I a bite and i was like oh sh- do i have covid too now yeah you do you do you both do. <laughs> oh you think you think covid happens that fast face <laughs> no it's from the f- one bite you think one bite covid no no no, no. you're not getting that at all it's it's because the- she's saying it's tasteless that was his joke oh you know what i'm sorry that you don't have a fucking um like kalila and i have very fucking exquisite elevated, palettes elevated. and elevated in another level mm-hmm. I, i'm sorry but kalila and i are fucking michelin star baby babies we are right and i'm sorry that her and i right are living on the high ride Rise. <laughs> What's a high ride? We're on the high ride, man. I just made the word up, man. Woo! It's a term, high ride. Woo! And we're on it. Yeah. And can't buy a ticket, but you can't afford it. You can't do it. <laughs> all right, because we're above it all. Real quick, right? George, have you been to a Michelin star restaurant? Yeah. Uh, I've driven by one once. Which one? I forget. You either. don't even know which he, one it is? Yeah, he's going to say Jones on third. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? You McDonald's know, is Michelin to you. You know what really kind of bummed me out? What? Was that for, for your brother's birthday and your birthday? Yeah. I sent you guys to a place that I thought it was like two Michelin stars, right? Which which, which one is it? But don't don't say the name. But no, I, no, no, no. And he was not. No, no, they no. said that he wasn't in Providence. Providence. No, no, no. He went to Providence. No, no, no. I didn't go. Don't say the fucking name. It's not Providence. I don't even know what a Providence. I'm just is. Just making stuff up. Um, I hear Providence is good. Though. Yeah, Providence is good. No, here's the deal. Because I talked about it last night with my brother on Bad Friends. Mm. Okay, it is exquisite. It is fundamental. Okay. It's fundamental. You just don't like blowfish. And t- I just don't like exotic fish. Did they have like limpet? Like what did they have? They showed limpet. They showed I love limpet. <laughs> That's so good. Opihi. The, they would say like this, this ocean right here, only three on planet Earth. <laughs> You're like <laughs> right. Oh, you mean in yeah. Santa Barbara? <laughs> you know, in Japan, oh. in Okinawa, there's a rock formation, right? One rock. And I'm like, my brother and I, are like, okay. They show the photo too. There is a purple, right? Mm-hmm. Indigenous, right? Urchin, the only three left. How do you know? We did a survey. <laughs> they did a survey. We talked to the urchin. We, they, they talked, did a survey, right? And it only comes out one week out of every year, right? Only hot summer days, but the winter too. <laughs> <laughs> like weird things like that, right? So we're like, we'll eat it, right? And then it just comes out and it's like, like it looks like it's like it looks like SpongeBob. Oh, just oh. just laying there on his back, right, on a little piece of rice, and it's good, right? But it's like you know, I think their deal was more like exotic fish, and my brother and I were looking more for, you know, I mean, old school, you know, I mean, um, fish, old school fish, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, that's good. But like your old school mackerel and snapper, right? Yeah, you know, I'm old school when it comes to, like tuna. That's my boy. <laughs> Tuntun. Tun. Tuntun's my boy. Tor, you know what I mean? Baby. Tor's my boy. Right, baby? All day long, every oh, day, right? Oh, yes, up. what's up, dog? Right? Raise the roof on that. Right? <laughs> oh, we raised oh, the roof on baby. We raised the roof on the Toro. Wait, domo arigato. Yeah, domo arigato, right? 
Babe, you can't raise the roof on Tuntun. Tun. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm raising the roof on Tuntun. Tuntun, yeah, yeah. And what I'm saying is, is that, you know, I get the exotic, right? But it's not necessarily something that I desire, mm. you know? But it was a cool experience. It was, we were there for three hours. Here's another three thing. Three hours? Yeah, here's another thing they said. Sushi. No talking. And my, there's a sign, no talking. Yeah. So you show up at 7.30, right? The door's closed. We're not ready yet. Right? So what do we do? Wait outside, right? Where is this? You're right, so we wait outside, right? And then you can tell, like, billionaires are coming. Mm-hmm. It's, you know, there's, like, limos dropping people off. Oh, I was like, Squid Game shit. Yeah, Squid Game shit. And I so was so sad because I had to prepay for it, right? Yeah. And, like, a single tear rolled down my eye when I put in my credit card <laughs> info, but I was like, it's worth it. Yeah. And they're gonna, they're gonna, their minds are gonna be blown. Well, it's you know, can I say how much you spent or no? She spent eight hundred bucks. No, Michelin star. It's, it's what? more than that. A grand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But for like. For two people. For that's two insanity. People. That's insanity. Fifth yeah. That's pure day. insanity. Especially if you're gonna get like a single piece of limpet. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we wait there, and then there's a sign, no talking. We wait to wait for all the guests to get there, right? And they serve everyone at one time. Oh, I see. So it's like one of those places where you, there's no menu, mm-hmm. right? And then you go, hoodie, hoodie, right? <laughs> and you go, hi, hoodie, hoodie, right? I'm just burping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we sit there and they go, this is hoodie, you know what I mean? And they put it down, <laughs> you eat it, right? And no soy sauce. Oh, yeah. No oh, soy that's sauce. that's, that's yeah, standard. It's omakase, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. But by the 15th time, and they also, my brother didn't like the fact that they showed us the fish. <laughs> the full fish? No, a, 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 they bring an iPad. Yeah. yeah. In front of you, this is what you're eating. And you just see like this, you know what I mean? <laughs> you see this dancing little guy in the ocean. You don't know what it is. And it's cute looking? Cute. Four eyes. It's cute. Aww. It gives you like little thumbs up with their little tentacles. And then we're eating it. So, I mean, um, and it got so long that I just went enough because I have to do a show. Wait, you didn't get the, all of the fish? No. <gasps> you we, left. What had, the fuck, Bobby? We had 18. And how many were there supposed they to be? They said two. There was two left. You motherfucker! No, two what left. That? What that's if that was a finale? Left. That's two a, left. That's two left. That's one hundred fifty each piece. Just you missed screaming. Yeah, sorry, sorry. You're gonna get all get COVID. Me. You're all gonna get COVID. <laughs> should we explain if you to don't people, get me angry. Should we explain to people what why we're, we keep covering our face every time you talk? All right. So I think I might have the COVID. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I, I forgot to mention that. And I'm still right. trying to decide yeah, if yeah, I if I want to have it with him or not. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why the mask is on and off. Yeah. So um. We already smelled my asshole. You probably blew blew a good viral load there. Yeah, yeah. I didn't smell anything, so maybe I have COVID. <laughs> did you see the squid? I did see the no squid. No one is yeah. allowed to talk about the fucking squid until I know, I'm done with the squid. But did you see the squid? squid. You haven't seen hey, it? She I, hasn't seen even a full episode. I've oh, been wow. living. She's been sleeping. I haven't. I've yeah, been yeah, yeah. underwater even, for a week. You couldn't even see a whole episode. I, I didn't want to watch the squid in one day, uh-huh. but I had to watch the squid in one day. You know what really, really irks me is what? before I left, about two weeks ago, the first day that Squid Game came out, I told Bobby, please, can we watch this thing together? So we tuck ourselves, put our little sleepy hats on, we're right side by side. And then ten, but maybe 15 minutes in, he's like, I hate this thing. And then you That's started what, watching that documentary about um, the L.A. riots instead. I love the L.A. riots. <laughs> it's I one know. of my favorite riots, though. <laughs> I know, First of all, L.A. riots is my favorite What's riot. your top three riots? Uh, right? And then it he's goes like, L.A. riots, what? Watts. Okay. All right. Also in L.A., yeah, that's a... Yeah, that's a, yeah well, I'm a big L.A. guy, right? And then there was one in Detroit. Yeah, and so... A mini one in Detroit. A mini, yeah. So what yeah, happened yeah, yeah. is, like, the second day... That's the third one. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Thank you, man. I leave town, and the second day, he's like, <laughs> I finished a whole show. I finished a whole show. Yeah, yeah. It's great. Yeah. What? Well, uh, 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 okay. So unfair. I, 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 can I just say something? I want to apologize to you. Okay. Number one, I'm the type of guy that cheats. Uh, no, I cheat too. Yeah. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm a failure. I'm a cheat. I get it. Okay. I'm no good. All right. But what, I'm the type of guy that I hadn't heard of the Squid Games when you said because you were watching it. So I started watching it. Right. And in the beginning. I didn't want. It was good. I just didn't know anything about it, and I don't like. I didn't like the fact that he stole money from his mom, mm. right? Mm. So when you don't know, no one. I'd never heard of it before, and I see this piece of shit stealing an like ATM, at, you know, a card from his mom's thing when she's like definitely poor, and then he's gambling with it. Mm-hmm. At that point, I was like, I'm out of this. You know what I mean? Because I don't like his um, vibe. Vibe, not his vibe. Yeah, his his principles, mm. right? But then what happened was. All right, on tweets, 
people started tweeting this me. This pisses me the fuck off right here. Now just stop, stop for a second. <laughs> my listen, my suggestion tweets. is not enough. No, listen, okay? <laughs> Let me finish, all right? Get the tweets, right? And then the back, the black, black. Eric? Yes. Oh, <laughs> the black bag. <laughs> what did I say? Yeah, black bag. Yeah, black bag. Black bag, that's a good name for him. <laughs> First of all, what's he thank fi- you so much. What's for he that. filled with? Yeah, what's oatmeal. He- oh, okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, black bag. <laughs> so, so, black, so, so black, black bag. bag told me, you know, what I mean, you should watch it, and then um, we're gonna get so much trouble for this. He's gonna call. Hey now, <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey Bobby. Hey Bobby. Hey now. So, um, and then a bunch of comics did, and then I read some things that was like, you know, so it was like ten things, and then you're like. Now you're curious. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You become curious because it becomes cultural. Chitter chatter. So you, you get the chitter chatter, mm. right? So you watch the first one, and it's it's okay until the last bit of it, right? And then once you see the last bit, you go, I get what it is. This is insane. This is cool, <laughs> right? It's violent. And um, the acting is really good. Um, I love Koreans. And... Um, Obviously, I love Koreans, and it's a really good show, but um, it's not for everybody. Uh, did you see it? Yeah. All of it? Just finished it this morning. Yeah. Well, don't, because I'm not done yet. You haven't even I, started. You I, haven't even like, started even done yet. What are you, you haven't talking even started. about? Will she like it, knowing her? Well, her how case? far did you get in? I'm still in the first episode. Yeah, so you... you, you don't I even, just got home. Please give you're me You're not a at the game yet, so you, you're... Yeah, anyway, what, do, what did you review? I thought it was pretty damn good. Yeah. Yeah, what my sister said. She was like, fucking Hunger Games is like trash compared to this. Garbage compared to this. It reminds me of, um, it's like Battle Royale, Royale, right? A little bit of Battle, but it's got a little bit of the host vibe. Mm. You know what I mean? The Korean movie host, because there's humor in it, right? I think he's very funny. A great actor, that guy. I don't know who he is. He's kind of like the Korean Ed Norton. Oh, yeah. What? Pretty good? Same face. Same vibe, vibe right? So the Korean Ed Norton... um, but there was some. I was confused about a, a little detail in the show. I thought those two were brothers, but they're not, right? No. Okay. They're friends. Yeah, they grew up together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I thought they were brothers. And maybe you just wanted them. I wanted to them to be brothers. brothers. Yeah. yeah. They oh. don't look anything alike. Oh, were you kind of playing it out like you and Steve scenario? Yeah. Jesus, man. <laughs> I wonder if my brother and I, because obviously there needs to be one. We're not giving anything away. There's one man standing, right? And if it was my brother at the end, you know what I mean? I, I would, I know my answer so quickly. What? I would, I would take it. I would die. I wouldn't want my sister. For qu- but she wouldn't want you to die. Wouldn't you quit though? I don't know what the game is yeah, because yeah. I'm not there yet. But yeah, I yeah, certainly yeah. know that I would take a bullet or any type of arrow through my, a dagger through my chest for my sister. Let me have to see if I would. Play the scenario out now. I would want to. I don't think I would though. <laughs> I mean, I would want to. You guys would it. fight it out to the death. I think we'd be like, "Quit first, man. I'm your older brother." More of an argument, <laughs> right? I see, I see. And he's like, "No, Bob. I need to. You know, you get me more money than me, <laughs> right?" Classic. And then you guys would, do have to think about the logistics of that because you have a mother to take care of and mortgage to pay and all of these things. Oh, very similar. So I think that you know, if we're talking about you know, not no feelings at all, I mm-hmm. think that you are the you have to be the one to stay alive to take care of. That's right. Family. I had to fight him. No, I'd make him quit. But there is no quitting, right? We're fucked. There's quitting, but... There, what, yeah, there is no... The, you have to do one thing, and it's like the group has to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so anyway, watch the show. It's really good. I also have been watching another thing called Fearless. It's on, on Netflix. Oh, yeah, you did tell me about that. And it's about bull riding. Yeah. Is it the gauchos? Gaucho, mount, gaucho mount marks? No, gauchos. Like cowboys. I don't know what a... Ga- is that what they call them? What are they, George? Yeah, like Argentinian, South American, uh, Argentinian cowboys. Ga- yeah, yeah. cowboys. These are Brazilian yep. ones. Oh. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Um, the Brazilians are the best, one of the best at rodeos, at bulls, know. bull riding. Did you guys know that? Nope. Yeah, um, and um, it's usually Americans or um, Brazilians, and um, it's the most violent sport I've ever seen. Why would anyone do that? Yeah. To- and don't you feel bad for the bull? Yes. Mm-hmm. Like the bull's like, get off me. You know, that's what they're doing. Get off me, right? And the guy's like, seven more seconds. You know what I mean? 
Because <laughs> <laughs> so you have to do it for eight seconds, right? It's the shortest yeah. thing in the world. Yeah. It's short. It's but it's an eternity. Ends. Yeah. You would. Uh, you wouldn't last. You wouldn't last ten seconds, my friend. I'd love, Wait, I'd love for all. I'd love for us to challenge. Have you guys all been on mechanical yes. bulls? Same thing. Yeah, I, 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 I can stay on at nine. Nine seconds. Nine seconds. No, the li- level nine of the the ultimate level. Yeah, I can do it for like five seconds. How, what do you look like? I look terrible. Let's show me. Are you just hanging no, on from the front like no, this? Just, uh, just how about this? All right, <laughs> tie right some Jello <laughs> right to the back of fucking Goonies back, my cat's back. <laughs> and then light a fire on his ass. See how what it looks like. Just, yeah, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. Woo! Liquid death. Listen to this. Listen to this. Oh, oh liquid death in the house, baby. You guys, when I'm in a bar, you know I don't drink, right? I drink the best. Well, God's be- beverage. <laughs> You're right. I'll open up a God's. The, the liquid death is God's beverage, purified water. Mm-hmm. And it's really good water. It's mountain water. It's mountain water. And it's like, I love that we're not using plastics here. Death to plastic. That's your death thing. Death to plastic. And um, it's so refreshing and it's great. You guys could check out Liquid Death. Liquid Death also donates 10% of profits to help kill plastic pollution forever. You want to stay hydrated and look cool and save the environment? Liquid Death is your thing. Sober is the new drunk, guys. Did you know that? Nope. Come on, people. It's 2021, Woo! and the Earth only has a few years left, man. Let's help freeze those ice caps and save those turtles and look metal while you're doing it. You'll see these cans popping up everywhere. Liquid Death is available at your local Whole Foods or 7-Eleven. You, but you know that's not all. Now you can rock Liquid Death merch. That crazy logo you know and love is now available on sweatshirts, hats, even license plate holders. And don't you dare pay for shipping. Go to liquiddeath.com slash belly to get free shipping on all water and merch. That's liquiddeath.com slash belly to get free shipping on all water and merch. Grab some now at Whole Foods or 7-Eleven now. And totally murder your thirst. Miro. Ah. Miro whiteboard. Yeah. For your office presentation. Uh, hmm. Miro. Yeah. <laughs> Miro whiteboard. Okay. You guys, um, I'm writing a script. Okay. And when I pitch this movie, right, I'm going to use Miro whiteboard. Mm. It's a great way to present your projects to a board of people. It's futuristic. It's cool. It's interactive. It's, it's interactive. Fun. Miro is a collaborative whiteboarding online platform created to help people visualize, discuss, and share work. Just like the whiteboard that hangs in your office, consider Miro a blank slate where you and your team or friends can all work, play, or something in between. You can write, draw, use videos, sticky notes, diagrams, or audio to conceptualize your vision. And honestly, this has been a dream come true because Bobby is one of those guys that just isn't a PowerPoint type of guy. Nope. He needs the visuals. He needs the fun of it. And Miro is honestly so fun. Yeah, but also it's like if you're not presenting me something without Miro, I don't want to listen to it. It's true. (laughs) That's true as well. And that's the main game in the game. Mm -hmm. Are you finding it difficult to collaborate outside of a traditional office? Yeah. Are your current tools in your workspace not cutting it It for you? It is, Absolutely. Well, get Miro. It's time to get Miro. Yeah. Guys, Miro is creating a revolution in how we create and collaborate. So join over 20 million users today. You can sign up and use Miro today for free. Go to Miro, that's M I R O dot com slash belly to start your free account. Sign up today and take advantage of three free whiteboards with this exclusive offer. Go to Miro, M I R O dot com slash belly and start using Miro today. There's no reason to delay. Yee-hoo. Right. So, um, but what? Back up. All right. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Look, I'm still undecided whether or not I want to share COVID experience with. I you. think you're fucked already because we spent the night last night. We sure did. Yeah, I'm you're fucked already. You breathe. You breathe the dead. You don't feel good. You feel, I feel good. I, yeah, I feel great. Uh, I don't think I have it then. I just feel like I have base that off. sore throat. I have a sore throat. I have body aches. It, it seems like you probably do, and I'm now I'm gonna get it. I have sore throat, body aches. You might not. Remember, you I told not. you my story. What's your wait? What's my, your story? My fiance got it. But you were already vaccinated. We, I was vac. You're, yeah. We were both vaccinated. Yeah. She made out with me, and then I didn't get it. Yeah, but how do you know she had it? Because she tested for it, and she got it. Yeah, and you didn't get it. No, that's amazing. So you don't. That's not a guarantee that you'll Who'd get you it. Who'd you make out with? Nobody. You know what I mean? Um, the tip of my dick smells right now. Is that, that what it is? Maybe bad. maybe that is maybe not me COVID. Why it it's smells cheesy. that way, Bobby? It's the cheese of it. Why? See, you're not uncircum. Saying, you're not uncircum. You're circumcised. How He's do you have circumcised, cheese? but the cheese is still there. I'm gonna find a thing. What's the thing? What is the thing? Give me a hair tie. 
I'm going to do the hair tie thing. Is stuff coming out of it? No. Pull back your, coming out of it. Skin. Did you have sex with a hooky? No, no, no. There's no hooky hooky. No, it's just there's a smell at the tip. I know, but why, Bobby? Why? Because it en- engulfs it. We already talked about it. Did you it. eat asparagus this past week? Yeah. No, he didn't. I, I, I didn't. <laughs> well, what is the reason to lie in that I did, situation? I I Can you show me what it looks like? It at smell, least? looks fine. Looks it looks fine? okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, sure. You should just show me. I mean, at this I mean, point, I mean, I saw just... it two days ago. It looked fine. Yeah, yeah, it looked fine. It looks okay. It looks great. What are you talking about? I don't know how you get cheese. You have no foreskin. I know. That's interesting. Yeah. It's I'm like, worried about you. Don't don't. I'm not. I believe. You know, is there a way to bo- hard boil an egg without the shell? <laughs> There's uh, a way to uh, poach. poach it. Poach it. Yeah. Yes, to poach. What do you mean? So because you just have, like, you could do it multiple different ways. How do you poach an egg? It's just, like, boiling water, and yeah. you have this thing, and you it's basically, like, almost, like, steam it. Oh, you put it in a little apparatus? Yeah. Yeah. Or free, right. or free fall, and you spin water around. Yep. Right. Because I want to invent a thing where it's like, how about this, okay? You, you, you crack the egg, you put it in another thing that looks like an egg, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? Like, exactly like a shape like of a boiled Easter egg. egg. Like a shape of an egg, right? Yeah. But it's obviously a... Very thin, boilable. And why would you want this? Because I want to put like mushrooms in it and uh, chopped onions. Oh, you want to make oh, egg cheese. bites? Sous-vide egg bites. Yeah. No, get, get what I'm saying, friend. Yeah, but I think it's been invented. Because if you not watched like a, the the whole egg episode of, was it like David Chang's show? Yeah, I think it was on his uh, Ugly Delicious maybe. Yeah, no, no, no. Or Way chef, before the that. The chef show. The chef Mind show. Mind of a chef. Yes, Mind of a chef. He has this whole episode of just Eggs. It's a. It's like the, one of my favorite episodes. They show different ways to do it. But anyway, my thing is you're not talking about like an egg poacher pan where you put you drop the eggs in this and you. That's put it exactly in the what he's talking about. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it. Well, we're gonna. I order, like that. We're I gonna like that. order one. Get me one. Well, here's the deal, dude. Okay, so I want to put it in that. Damn it! I thought I was gonna make zillions of dollars. <laughs> I literally thought I was gonna make zillions of dollars. I'm like, I'm gonna fucking buy a fucking my own rocket ship. <laughs> you know I mean? Right. And my thing would be, you know, I mean, what's the first big purchase if you were a billionaire? Like, what's a let's say you just from today until tomorrow, all of a sudden, boom, Bobby, you're a billionaire. We don't know why. What is your first massive purchase? I know what you would do. I don't think you do. You'd buy the comedy store. Oh, no, I wouldn't. Oh, I thought you or you'd buy almost every billboard on like Hollywood Boulevard and <laughs> yes. put fake shows that you're in. That's funny. You would, that's, <laughs> that's, that would, that, I never thought of that, but that would be think about the whole like that's like 80 billboards. Devlin's nightmare. <laughs> is, but is right. you like holding a gun? It's Devlin's <laughs> nightmare, right? And I'm like in a fucking like warlock, you know what I mean? And, and all your friends are gonna be like right. on Sunset Boulevard, like, what the fuck? He's in everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's on every single Dude, show. That's a good Yeah. Sunji's choice. <laughs> <laughs> right? Sunji's choice. So it's not like and I'm wearing kimono. I wear a kimono, right? <laughs> I'm wearing a kimono, right? And Jimmy O. Yang is wearing kimono, right? Oh, he's in And, and she, he is like on my chest. And I'm just doing the Sunji's choice, right? <laughs> right? And then what else movies could we do? No, we'll just do like an. Uh, let me see. Some of them shouldn't even have titles. They're just you back going, lot, back lot um, manifesto. Ooh, I like What's that. What's that about? I don't know, but it's like it's us, us five, four, us yeah. four. We're in suits, mm-hmm. and we all have like this funny, like anonymous mess, but it's our own like mud <laughs> mask, right? And we have briefcases, and like we're just succession. walking. Yeah, back lot, manif- back lot manifesto. Apple TV. It's not even yeah. coming out on Apple. <laughs> yeah. Right? They have to sue us, but we have the money. We can do this now. Right, what? Wait, why don't It we... only costs 750 We can set some money aside and put one right in front of How the store. How much are they? Store. 750 a month. Wait, I want to go back to the titles of your mixtape. Maybe one of them can be a title for your... 750 a month. Dude, we can do this. No, but I'll tell you why you can't because like the ones that are on Sunset are like... You can, you can tell Here. that... Yeah. Those ones might have... be the $15,000 ones. And also, they're also... Um, don't don't the networks have like oh they own they own it or they have like uh, leasing you know what I mean option I don't yeah, know yeah, okay yeah. here I have the the movies what? this is supposed to be in your 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 mixtape okay remember yeah yeah save the pelicans that me Tom Hanks yeah Sandra Bullock we'll just do old Hollywood you know what I mean yeah I like that and it's us we're on an island mm-hmm. right and the poster is you know what I mean Tom Hanks and Sandra they Sandra Bullock they're wearing some sort of like um. Not not um hazmat suits, but white suits has this UN on it. Oh UN. Does the UN have anything to do with it? Maybe maybe. What about this? I'm not done yet. Oh you're not. Right yeah, and I'm on a cross. 
right? Oh, wow. Wow. Right? I did not get that from Save the No, I know, but the pelicans are, are eating Your at my flash. <gasps> you know what I mean? Okay, what about Fiddler Father Urban Mother? Oh, what? that's a good what, one. What are these? Hold on. <laughs> this is his mixtape. Fiddler title. Father? <laughs> what the fuck? Fiddler Father Urban Mother? Yeah. Fiddler right. Father. Fiddler Father, right? <laughs> I know what it's about. What is right? it about? <laughs> what it's about is I'm. Wait, actors. I have two who, are the, who are the actors? <laughs> well, let me just tell you the story, and I'll tell you the actors. Right? <laughs> it's it's about reincarnation. Oh, oh very, okay, very Hindi. Nice. So you know, I mean, in the late 1800s, right? It's a Bollywood film. No, no, no. Oh. no. I'm an English kid. <laughs> okay. Right, but I'm gonna play do it with me, but I'll put white makeup on. Mm. Right, and then we'll have. Honestly, White face. Blue we're gonna green face. screen. <laughs> we're gonna screen screen my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna green. So it's gonna be so, CGI. You have CGI. No, no. So basically, right? I'll act white makeup. I'll have green screen. <laughs> green screen my eyes. So when it has that like Michael Shannon effect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, in post. Like with the little fish eyes. Yeah, yeah. In post, right? Right. So it'll be like. So we'll, we'll do. Uh, we have the money, right? So yeah. we'll do it in post, right? Yeah. And hello, you know what I mean? And I'm like a f- son of a f- fiddler, yeah. right? And it's like, like fiddle on the roof, <laughs> right? But we're just, you know, yeah. right, right? Like, right, like that, right? <laughs> right, and it cuts to, what's the second one? Ur- the urban, urban mother. Urban, urban mother. mother. And that cut to, right? Oh, I get reincarnated, right? Yeah. And I, um, I'm, who's that lady from um, Hidden F- Figures? Oh, uh, Tasha. Oh, uh, P- uh, Octavia Spencer? Oh, Octavia Spencer, oh, Octavia Spencer yeah. right? She g- gives birth. Rebirth and I get reborn, uh-huh. right? Again, black makeup, <laughs> green screen, 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 yeah. screen the eyes, right? But then, <laughs> but then you put Delroy Lindo's eyes or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like two lives, right? So don't you think that's good? That's a great one. One, one more okay. movie okay. title. Yeah, movie. This one's a bit of a long one, so it might take a lot of uh, billboard space. Delroy Lindo eyes. Yeah, those are Del- Del- <laughs> see, those are Delroy Lindo eyes. Oh, he's got good eyes. Yeah, yeah. Eyes. All right. Yeah. So this one's a long one. You have to really consider this one. Okay. One of your movie titles is Chilongo Diaz is my friend, but I don't know him personally. Is that <laughs> <laughs> That's just a sentence. Yeah, yeah. Chilongo Diaz. His... I don't know him personally. Chilongo right. Diaz is my friend, but yeah. I don't know him personally. Yeah. I know what it is. Chilongo Diaz. Chilongo Diaz, right, is the greatest, right, soccer player in South America, mm. right? But this is not now. Mm. In 60 years from now. <gasps> wow. Right? And I'm a kid. I'll just play Korean. Okay. Right? But you still have CGI eyes? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But make it Japanese. Okay. <laughs> right? So it's like, yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> I like it. You're, dude, you're a producer, bro. All right. You're so giving me great ideas, CGI dude. CGI eyes. We're Japanese. gonna CGI, right? So it's like, you know how my sl- mine's slender like this? Yeah. It's gonna be slanted like the, op- this. the opposite way. Yeah, the opposite way, <laughs> right? So they're gonna be like, "Wow, that's weird, right?" And, um, it looks different, right? Yeah, yeah. So Chilango Diaz, right, is a soccer player from the future, right? And um, what's his skill level? Like Maradona? Oh, he's better. He's he can do all of it too, right? Mm. He's like he can goalkeep, mm. right? Wow. In fact, in the future, right? There's only they the, half the team is they don't even need half the team. He does it all. He does it all. Wow. He's right. The, the midfield. He's midfield. the center forward and the goalie. <laughs> <laughs> He's just running back. He runs just back and forth. <laughs> He's with his eyes. Well, yeah, yeah. He, no, I'm not Chilango oh, Diaz. Not. I'm not Chilango Diaz, right? I mean, imagine the work right. All right. Dude, all star. All star, right? So he's going back and forth, back and forth, right? And he's always complaining too. <laughs> hey, can you hire more people? <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> right, and I'm a kid, a Korean kid now. Right, <laughs> Shalongo Diaz ain't even born yet, bro. Yeah, yeah, and I'm fucking at a park, right, playing soccer with my kid, with my kids. Okay, cool. Right, and then there's a lightning storm. Slightning? Slight, a lightning? A lightning storm. A slight storm. It's a slight storm, right? That's what I call. Yeah. It. Right, very good. Slight storm, big lightning. Yeah, big lightning. Ooh. I get zapped, right? And for some reason, I get zapped, right? And I get connected to Chilongo in the future, <laughs> right? So then I know his heart. I know his motivation, his work ethic, right? So I know him, but he's not my... F- I've never met him. Mm, you know what I'm saying? You know him so <laughs> I know intimately. So <laughs> yeah. you know I know him, intimately. but I don't. You know what yeah. I mean? Right? And then what... This is a great scene, though. This uh. is a great scene, right? I, I'm like a 30-year-old guy, right? I decide to try out for the fucking... Um, the L.A. Um, 
Galaxy. Galaxy, right? Oh, nice. I become the center forward. They ha- then they, what happens is they go, hey, dude, we fired everyone. <laughs> it's just you. You're the guy. <laughs> so I'm like, right? Chilango, I become a legend, right? And then I'm like 60 years old or whatever. And I go to like Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. What? Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo to a hospital. Check this out. This is a great scene. <laughs> this is a great scene. Okay. Right? People are like, what is he doing? The, the legendary, you know what I mean? What was it, uh, my name is Rick Toshi. The, the, the legendary Rick Toshi, Toshi. What is he doing here, right? And then I see a baby being born. And it's... <gasps> Chalong. Chalong. Right? And I have a cane. And you see me look at Chalong. Maybe, eh, he's crying, right? And I look at him and I just kind of turn around. That's the last shot. I walk away. Damn. Oh, I thought maybe you were gonna kill him because you don't I want anyone to. I thought you were gonna, to, I oh, you kill him. No, because if I kill, like I thought about it. Yeah. Yeah, but but if I kill him, maybe I won't have the vision later. You know, earlier. Mm-mm-mm. Right. So he must exist. Yeah. Interesting. Right. So that's this. That's. The I, well, I'm fully invested, so I'm not gonna move on to the next title, which is Dip Your Dick. <laughs> <laughs> but those are pretty good movies. That's what All I would right. do with the billion dollars. But oh. what I would really do, right? I'll just tell you what I would really do. I would buy. A piece of land, probably in Malibu, right? Mm-hmm. And I would probably, I've always wanted to kind of design my own house. Oh, cool. You know what I mean? And I would do, um, I don't know if this is possible, but hear me out. I had this fantasy of buying my own land, right? And can you do this? Can you dig a mile into the earth? A, a mile? mile? Yeah. Have a mile. I'm sure you could, you but could. would you want to live there? Yeah, so I want the house to be like, when you look at the house, right? Oh. It's like one room, tiny little like farmhouse looking thing. You basically just want to live in that video game. <laughs> no, just listen, hear me out, right? Fucking what's that? Yeah. Fallout vault. Fallout. But yeah. The vault. You, know, you see a farmhouse, right? And you walk in, right? And there's a walk in closet. But is it? No. It's a fucking elevator, right? And I live underground. That is his dream. No windows. No All windows, darkness. right? That is his dream. Like, yeah, literally. Yeah, like <laughs> that's it. That's right. You're that's describing it. the that's game exactly, that you yeah, play. Yeah, Paul, yeah, that's the game I was playing. Yeah, I played that too. Remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a fun game. So that's essentially the game, right? It's just like I live right. I'm not the game. The, the one I, I just li- I have a pool down there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. A wave pool where I can surf. Oh, I yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All that's kinds of stuff cool. going. I'd there. be down there. Yeah. I would have a, yeah, aquariums and all kinds of stuff down there. That you know what I would do with a billion dollars. <clears throat> That there, what? there's this place in, I think it's in the Middle East. I don't know if it's um, Abu Dhabi or Dubai where they have, it's kind of similar to that, but it's like an underwater um, city. Mm-hmm. And you can dive there and free dive to like different levels. Can you look that up, Gil? Oh, I've seen oh, that. Oh, shit. It's so yeah. cool. You can Let scuba dive, right? You can scuba dive, yeah. you can free dive, but they have different like rooms with different uh, themes. Uh, and it just, I mean, nothing beats the ocean, but that's, I thought that was pretty cool. So I'd probably build one of those just in my backyard. I just imagine, Bobby, you would be in like, you'd buy like a jetpack and then just like zoom around in the air. Oh, do that the too. The billion dollars, right? I'm not going to spend all that on a house. I'd have a jetpack and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. A water pack. I'd have a water pack. What's a water pack? It makes me zoom around in the water. Oh, they already have those. They're not expensive. They have these little things and it, you just hold it and it zips you around. I can't find... I know oh, really? I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's about. it. The world's that's deepest it, right? pool. Yeah, it's, it's in indoor, Dubai. It's an indoor, like, deep dive. People can watch you do but it. Like, look, there's windows and stuff. You see that, babe? Yeah, Jeff Ross has that. No, Jeff Ross does not have <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, Jeff Ross he has that. He doesn't have that kind of in, money. Indoor... Jeff Ross has this, okay? If you go to Jeff Ross, like Ross's that. house... That's cool. You can okay? And you go to his bedroom, right? Uh-huh. The window... To his bedroom uh-huh. is the bottom of his pool. Yeah, but it's not the deepest pool in I'm the world. I'm just saying, though, it's kind of like that. Yeah, but it's very 80s, I think. Yeah, yeah. I think it's cool. You know those restaurants where like, you see like the mermaids like um, swimming around you and stuff? Yeah, yeah. He's got a really nice house. <gasps> I th- I, you would do that. Make like a little hobbit home. Oh, that'd be cool, too. And that's what the inside looks like, like this. What? The hobbit home? Yeah. So, I mean, it's like a map of basically... You the front would be I think somewhere right here. Yeah, right? it's like a tunnel and it goes down deep, of just layers of home. Yeah, that's what Bobby wants. Yeah, but is that good for you? Is, is that bad for you? Yeah, you don't get vitamin D and it's a whole. Can you pump in vitamin D though? You could take vitamin D every day, but <laughs> no, no, I pump it in. What do you mean pump it in? Sweetie, in the, you these pump vents. It in the body. No, but you if you need... pump it in in the you know. 
What are the things that sun give you gives you? Vitamin, vitamin D. D. What else? C too? No. Like Sunny Delight? <laughs> Doesn't Sunny Delight give you? Yeah, they kind of, I mean. <laughs> yeah, it gives yeah. you diabetes, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> one of the few <laughs> vitamins it gives you. <laughs> all right, all right. So you, I'll pump in vitamin D, right? How about this? Could you have like one of those like a window, right? Mm-hmm. And have, it's like a screen of the sun. You could get like UV light maybe, UV, UV light, light therapy. But yeah, UV, I would do all that stuff, right? To make it seem, but I just don't want to see the actual sun. Oh wow. You really don't like the sun, do you? You love Hawaii. The sun there? He doesn't go out I during go the out sun. That. I don't go oh, during the day. Like at the night, cold. I like it. Oh. Uh, yeah, it, he doesn't, he loves going out only at night. Yeah, the sun, you know what? It's, it's all right. You know, it's not my best friend, but it's, you know, it's all right. I don't, it's not my enemy. You know, it's just when I see it, I'm like, maybe I'm used to it. You know, I'll, I'll be honest with you, all my life I've seen the sun. And uh, just so like you guys. I have a question for you. <laughs> yeah, the, the way you right. made it sound. I, I made it seem like I was the, the only the one only that only experiences person. that. I have a question. What? Yeah. So like when you watch, like you don't get emotional or like feel thankful or have some sense of like feeling of gratitude when you see like the sunrise or the sun go down. You're just kind of like, eh, sunset. Like it doesn't like, you're not in awe. I think I force myself to be in awe with it because everyone else is in awe of it. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, if no one told me how great it was, like I was the only one living on planet Earth, yeah, I probably wouldn't know what it was. But since people go, I've had like, I've, I've eaten re- at restaurants with people at like five yeah. inside and they're like, let's go out to the patio and look at the sunset. And, and, I, and I'll go, yeah. You really want to go, Bobby? Have you ever seen the green yeah. flash of light? <laughs> yeah. What? Have you ever seen the green flash of light right yeah. before the sun goes down? I've seen I've never it. Heard of this? In green, and in, I in, thought in that everyone Lantern. was lying to me my whole life, <laughs> yeah. but I saw it for the first time last week, and I screamed. Wow. At the very last bit of the sun, when it goes down, yeah. it like puts out this like green orb, this green flash. Oh wow. Oh, wow. And. Yeah, I've never seen that. Like that. Oh, that. The, wow. No, no. Yes, that one. This, this that. One? That's exactly it, Gilbert. What uh, is it? What is it? I just called you Gilbert. <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert. <laughs> Gilbert. What is it? <laughs> but the bottom, the second to the left on the bottom, right there. This one. That one. That yeah, one. That's yeah. exactly what it looks wow. like. Wow. Yeah, I've never seen that. Okay. I want to see it. We gotta see one then. We gotta. But when I see it. a sunset, I look at it and I go. And I, I kind of look at everyone's cues. Yeah. So people go, oh. You follow? So I'll go, oh. You know what that means, you know what right? I mean? What? That's what sociopaths do. They mimic. <laughs> yeah. They have, okay. I'm a sociopath when it comes to sunsets. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically sunsets. Specifically sunsets. I think that's what I have. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never cried over anyone. You cry over like. I don't cry over my brother. Your dad, you didn't. I didn't cry when my dad died. You know what I mean? I don't cry in that way. Yeah. I cry when I don't expect it because here's the thing. I know when I'm expected to cry. So my head already immediately goes, why aren't you crying? You should be crying. Even though you feel like crying, do it, right? Oh, you're a crazy person, right? So when I'm watching something like when my brother came over and we saw that um, in and of itself again. Yeah. And, and my brother started crying. I cried. We cried so hard, mm-hmm. like convulsing crying. Like my brother went like this. He went like this. Ooh, like that and I was like ah, right and we were like <laughs> deeply crying so I'll cry like indirectly I have the emotions but I don't tap into it like when I'm supposed to because it's like I feel like there's some sort of like pressure to do it or whatever yeah but have you ever like had have you ever said goodbye to someone and felt like a tug at your heart and feeling like oh like I'm gonna cry like when you say goodbye to your mom or you know I felt that the other day when Charlie mm-hmm he knew he moved. Oh yeah, I bumped into him oh, at the gym. Did? Yeah, he's in Idaho. He went to. Bed. And so the, the the the, I didn't talk to Charlie in three years. You know, have you talked to him when I texted you that photo? No. Oh, yeah. I said I said I, we text, but I haven't really talked to him. Yeah. So when he, I've talked to Charlie. I know you have. Years. So we had dinner at the Chinese restaurant, and when <laughs> he said he was leaving, there was a real sense of like, oh, it sucks. You know, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. I, there was a sense of crying almost but I didn't you know because in my head I'm like I'll see him again you mm-hmm. know and it's, you know I'll be honest with you too and this is gonna sound crazy when my dad died it's almost as if he's not gone and that I'll see him again I had this 
weird sense that I'm going to see everyone again anyway. Who do you think we're going to, who do you not want to see again that's passed away? Who's passed away? So it's kind of like, um, it's like, I kind of don't like that idea because it's like, it's like, like Lost. Who do, you, who do you not want to see at that church at the end of Lost? Yeah, but I think that once you see them again, even somebody that you hate, right? I don't know what realm it's going to be. I don't, I don't, I don't want to call it heaven, but it's like in the next phase, right? I think it's going to be like, oh, that was crazy. You know what, what I mean? it's like, Hitler? I think he's going to be like there, like, hey, guys, my bad. <laughs> my B. My you know B. I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I played it wrong. <laughs> wrong. I played that wrong. You know what I mean? And we're going to be like, yeah, man. Cheers. <laughs> not cheers. Not oh. cheers. Like, that was weird, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not he's like, I know, dude. My bad. Yeah. It's like, I don't know if I can. Hug. Like, we already know each other. I feel like everyone knows each other. And at the, the next realm. Right, we don't just we don't right now know that we know each other, right? But when we go to, to whatever the next realm, we're gonna see dudes and go like Jeffrey Dahmer is like, shouldn't have ate those guys, dude. That was weird. He's like, I don't know what happened, man. Why are the Asians? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They just, you guys are so delicious. I, and, and he tries to he tries to make a joke like that. I think no, dude, that Too was soon, weird, man. right? And then maybe good to see you. Yeah, it's I'll, yeah, maybe I will give a half hug. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like what's <laughs> up? you know you got a you know, shoulder hug, right? And you're like later, and then you might see dudes that you like really admire, right? You know, Cleopatra. You admire her? Well, you know, she's legendary, right? No. Maybe not her. Um, let me think of somebody that I admire. Yeah, I was like, what? I Ooh, one of the authors that you love. Tashiro Mufuna, probably. Maybe, oh, wow. yeah. T- Tashiro! Hey, dude! I go, I didn't get to see you, you know? And everyone understands each other without like, their own language. Do you call thing? him Tushi? Yeah, we, we all speak one language. I love it. What? Well, you love it. No, I love the idea that you just you speak in your language, but everyone understands. Un- yeah. Oh. You know, it's like one of those um, <clears throat> language simulators that they do in Star Trek. Like in Star Trek, the the last Star Trek. Like, I don't know that right. The last Star Trek movie. <laughs> the last Star Trek movie. One of the villains in it, right? She spoke a different language, but she had like a little mouth apparatus. Oh yeah. She spoke her language into this mouth apparatus, and it, it translates it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Into whatever language. I like that. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Uh-huh. Nothing. Yeah, but I think that we're gonna see each other in a realm. I think we knew each other before too, and so when I, when people die, I think I really do believe that I go. I'm gonna see that guy again, or it's nothingness. Who cares at that point? Yeah. Yeah. You know, either way, it's all just a sweet. It's just a game. Let's not go there. It's not a game. Yeah, it's, it's meaningful. real. Meaningful. It's full of love. It's full of love and gain. It's full game-like of, activity. No, it's not game. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of game, would you guys like to challenge each other in a squid game? All right. Well, but do I have to stand? No, I have to stand. This was a simple one. It's our own version. Is it COVID I, friendly? Because we both COVID got friendly. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, a question. This game is called The Thing Is Is That or The Thing Is Is This. And you're going to be asked a question and you have to pick either of the answers. Okay. Let's go. Basically, I would like to preface Wait, what are What are the stakes though? The stakes because... are the other person has to put their nose in the other person's butt. Oh God. For a long period. No, we already of time. did that. Okay, what would you like to do then? Because I think the butt thing is, I don't think I think Kalala's you know, her he stakes gets the better end of that stick because I'm fully my butt is nasty. That butt is so nasty right now. That's why I want to put the stakes more on her so she really has to win. My butt is so nasty right now. Do you know that's how the Chinese test for COVID? Right, they swipe the ass. That's how I'm gonna get a full viral load. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what you do this during COVID. <laughs> Okay, don't snip the butt then. How about this? What else? Something else. Let's go back. Let's take it old school. Let's do thwax. Ooh, thwax. Okay, then we'll do thwax. We'll do yeah. 10 or 5. How hard are these? 20. Jesus God. But these kind of thwax on the head? Huh? Or, or the, the head? Or, or it's the, just here. Yeah, that's one. All right. All right. But, I, but I'm going to, if it's her, I'm going to go easy. Oh, that's so sweet, but you don't have to. I want to. Come on. I, I don't know. How okay. about the next dinner you go to? The person has to cover a $2,000 dinner. Okay. The two grand. You have to find. Wait, can we do one a grand? A, a grand. grand. A, grand. Do a grand. Okay. All right. Ready. Oh yeah. There. This very okay. good for people that didn't hear it. All right. The first one. Here we go. Snails can sleep for up to three months or three years. Go ahead. You, guys, um, you both have to choose your answer. And George, keep tally. Wait. Wait. We're gonna have we're gonna have seven questions. Three years. Three months. Okay. I should know this. I'm a slug, but I'm not. I'm, not, I'm wrong. Probably. The answer to that is snails can sleep up to three years. Wow. <laughs> How many points for Bobby? Just wait, who, I, I, I was too busy writing down names. Who won that one? I Bobby. Did. Bobby. Okay. 
All right, uh, that's one, Gilbert. <laughs> that's one. Uh, that, okay. What? <laughs> one. What if we cho- what if we choose the same thing? That's fine. Okay. But look, like now you're up one. Now so you're already ahead. So, right, 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 so, so just to choose the same thing as her every time. <laughs> You could do that's that. A good, that's, that's a good strategy. Oh, good no. Strategy. <laughs> that's a really good Thousand dollar dinner. <laughs> Who, <laughs> whoever's ahead has to go first. Okay. All right. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> prairie, do- prairie, do- prairie dogs kiss to show affection or to identify each other. Identify each other. I go, I identify each other. The answer is identify each other. Wait, hang on, sweetie. <laughs> do you think that if we made out, like if I was in a lineup, that you would identify my kiss? Oh, oh yeah, if you're a I would identify then? yours for sure because you're just like. What's so specific? Oh, he's just like, yeah. uh, like tonguing down hard. Uh, European, go ahead. <laughs> so that's They're one playing. zero still. House flies buzz in D or F key. Um, hold yeah, on. Try it again. <laughs> try, wait, wait, wait. Try, to, try to find it. <laughs> Good. <laughs> D. Kalila. Well, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say F. And the answer is F key. Yes. Wow. All tied up. All tied. She has to go first next time, though. Yeah. She does. Yeah. yeah. Question number four. Z- okay. A honeybee right. can flap its wings 200 times per second or 400. I'm going to go with 200. And we're forgetting the uh, the answers must be in the the thing is is oh. two hundred. The thing is is four hundred. Oh, okay, oh, the thing no. is is two hundred. <laughs> the thing is is the thing is is two hundred. As well. Yeah. Okay. And it's a very smart strategy. It is 200. 400 is insane. That's ridiculous. Well, it's ridiculous. It's probably ridiculous. faster than that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. In a second? Yes. That's insane. Number five. Bats always turn left or right when leaving a cave. Oh, my God. The thing is, is what? Is, the thing is, 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 that, is I'm okay, first okay, now. The, the thing is, is, is left. You know what? I really want to say the same, but I want to get ahead. So just in Very case, the thing is, is right. And the answer goes to Bobby. Ah, oh, fuck. So I'm ahead. Left. Left. The thing is, is left. All right. All right, guys. Number six. The hashtag symbol is technically called a norumogram or an octothorpe. The thing is, is what? The thing is, is Octothorpe. The thing is, is Numerogram. Wow. Numerogram. Kalila tries to even it up and she does not. <laughs> Octothorpe. <laughs> the thing is, is Octothorpe. Bobby wins a point. Fuck, how far ahead is this two yeah, points? Yeah, two, yeah. That's true. Dang. Yeah, I, that's I, I, I did not know that. The last one. I don't want to spend another 1K for you to not <laughs> oh, like yeah, the yeah. food. <laughs> <laughs> we don't worry. We'll have some bonus ones though. Oh, I love puffin. A baby puffin. Baby puffin. Is called a poof or a puffling. The thing is, is is that what? The thing is, is that poof. The thing is, is poof. You guys are both wrong. The answer is puffling. Fuck, I had a chance. I had a chance there. All right, guys, that is it. (gasps) But but you have a chance to show her some grace, some evangelical grace right now. Yeah. And have one more question. And basically, that winner takes all. No. It's up to you, unless you want. (laughs) I'm up two fucking points. You're you're fucking. Or you can negotiate stuff and say, I will give you a chance if you. I'm just saying. Where where are you going to eat? Can you tell me in advance? (laughs) Another G? (laughs) I already spent a G. All right, how about this? I'll risk it all with one question, but the question has to be have to do with Star Trek. (laughs) I don't even know what. (laughs) I don't even have things. Yeah, 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 yeah. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Check out BetterHelp.com/slash/belly for ten percent off your first month. You guys, you know during the pandemic and also today, a lot today, we use um. Better help in our private lives because we love the therapy. I, we think it's a great service and it's something that um, we really get behind because it's important. I mean, you guys know us by now. You know, we deal with our own set of um, mental health issues and there's no shame in that. Mm-hmm. Um, Better help is a customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's more, it's much more affordable than in-person therapy and you can start communicating with your therapist in just under 48 hours. Unload the stressors and get some unbiased feedback. You'd be pretty surprised at what you might gain from it. See if it's for you. 
This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and Tiger Belly listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash belly. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash belly for 10% off your first month. For hymns, we love them forever. Him is a wellness. It is. It is. Brand for men. Okay. Hymns is a wellness brand for men. That's what I meant to say, and that's how I do it. You've heard us talking about hymns, and they are helping guys look their best, guys. And if you haven't yet, it's time to see what they're all about. 66% of men start to lose their hair by the age of 35. Once you've noticed the thinning, it can be too late. Is that hairline slowly starting to move backwards, huh, guys? Yeah. Any bald spots yet? The best way to prevent more hair loss is to do something about it while you still have some. Why do guys turn to weird solutions or do nothing when they can turn to medicine and science, all right? Forhims.com is a one-stop shop for hair loss and skin care for men. We love it here, man. It's time to write a new chapter, one in which you have freaking hair, guys. Yeah. These aren't snake oil pills or gas station counter supplements. These are prescription solutions backed by science. No more awkward in-person doctor visits either or long pharmacy lines. Forhims connects you to licensed medical professionals online, which could save you hours. It's completely confidential and discreet. Tell us more about it, Gil. Today, Hims is giving you their best offer yet. If you're not happy with the results after 90 days, Hims will give you a full refund. And right now, Tiger Belly listeners can get their first visit absolutely free. Go to forhims.com slash belly. That's forhims.com um, slash belly. belly. Prescription products require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if a prescription is appropriate. Restrictions apply. See website for full details and important safety information. Remember, that's 4 slash belly. Here's the final question. All right, all right go ahead. <laughs> Multiple choice? Uh, no. We'll, I'll, I'll, it is, but I'll create it in our format. Okay. All right, final question for the 1G dinner, Mission Star meal. Can I just smell his asshole? No, no, Get no. it over no with. No asshole. It's, it's up to him if Go he ahead. wants. The name of Worf's father. Oh, oh that's impossible. The, exactly. I don't know so the father. You said Star Trek. All right, Lalo, you this you is your us, chance. You have to give us a, a multiple choice, go. son. It's not. It's the same way. The name of Worf's father is Martok or Moog? Martok or Moog. The thing, the thing is, is, it, is, is what? The thing is, Smoke. Kalila. The you, thing is, this is Moog. But if you tie Kalila, we can go he, to another he question. Knows this no, Kalila, if you the get it. The thing is, this is Moog. The thing is, this is Moog then. And the answer is, the thing is, this is Moog, which brings us to our next question. <laughs> <laughs> very good yeah. strategy. Yeah, very good strategy. I feel like he gets it wrong, yeah. then switch yeah, it yeah, up. Yeah. But you have to ask the next fucking answer to the next okay. Star Trek. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> I don't know. These are so hard. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. He's going to know them all. No, he's not. No, I'm not. No, he's not. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This one, I don't think Bobby will know. He'd be surprised. In total, how many episodes of Star Trek? No, stop, stop, stop. You can't fucking ask technical questions like that. Cool. About the show. <laughs> not about the you said, what years with the production. You said no. Star Trek. No, no, no. You said no. Star Trek. I'm the champion. You, <laughs> you pick a different question about the show, man. Bye. No, no, no. That's it. That's it. Go ahead, tell me. No, no, that's it. I'm the one. No, go. That's not. That's it. Fucking spit it out. Right, here's a different question. In total, yeah. how many episodes of Star Trek: The Next Generation were there? Is it 192 or 178? The thing is, is what? The thing is, is 192. 78. 178. The thing is, is 178. It looks like Kalila will be dropping another G. <laughs> That's three. I, I mean, I'm, I, I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I give you God, a shot, babe. I give you a shot. It's a long yeah, day right. for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. Another G for me, dude. I wonder where I'm going to go. Providence? <laughs> What's it called? Oh, Providence. 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 Yeah. Um, you could go to Thomas Keller. What's that? Um, Very nice in, restaurant. Up there, like an hour away. Um, French Laundry. You know what was great? That Italian restaurant you took me to in... Yeah. Um, I looked up the Michelin one and two stars. Look for French LA. Laundry. I'll take you there. So this is. But what was that Italian one that we went to at, uh, over there by um, Laurel Canyon? Oh, Pache. Really good. Pache. That was a fun, nice that, meal. Yeah. These are all the new for the new 2021 Michelin stars. I took you to Cali. That was really good. Cali was amazing. Kind of kite's great. Yeah. Um, I've been taking Papa on just dinners. Yeah, dinners, yeah, yeah. Dinners. La Yata, What's that? Oh, that's in the Arts District. Oh, I knew Anaka. Anaka was in um, Chef Table. Chef's Table. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a lot of Japanese. Shout out to you. Yeah, yeah, a lot of Japanese. Mm -hmm. 
Um, sorry, Kalila. Oh, so, sorry, Kali, Kali, Kali. It's Kali. a bad month for me, guys. It's a bad month. Um, um, hey, family in the Philippines, you guys aren't getting your stipends <laughs> this month. Uh, uh, there's a, no one is getting is? their fucking stipends because Bobby needs to eat at Michelin star restaurant. No, no, you know what? Hey, you, I'll be honest with you. Mich- the Japanese place you took me to, yeah. that's going to cause, that's this for this thing. Because you did the birthday wow. too. You did a lot of things. Who, for, who, for, so who paid for my birthday party? If you're looking at it. For we all did. Oh, that you guys all did? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the company did. The company. Yeah. Did. Okay. Because I was feeling bad about it because that must have been expensive. No, it was no just, it's a birthday. It's your birth- celebration. Did we talk about that? We oh, talked yeah. about the birthday, right? Did we no, have not. You even told like what? Oh yeah, you didn't even talk about. We haven't talked about. I didn't even post the birthday. video. Oh, we haven't talked about the birthday party. Bar- bar- yeah. Oh, it was the most magical party I can only imagine. Magical. Did you know about the party? Absolutely not. Were you truly surprised? Yes, one hundred percent. I thought um, you said. Well, it's what I didn't know about the. Um, party and then you were like Thursday you were like I go I called you I go Sterling's in town mm. and then you slyly goes oh let's go have dinner with him tomorrow at 6 right so that little thing made it seem like it was that she made it up right then last or minute. Mm. last minute right Smart. so you wouldn't think anything of it right and then but here's what could have gave it away mm-hmm. was when you said when I the next day I said Gina Gershon is in town and you're like I just invite her to the dinner, right? In my head, at the split second, it was weird. Like, it's an intimate thing with me, you, Sterling, and his girlfriend. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So why would you invite Gina, right? Be- because you were like, oh, she's so great. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, maybe you're right. And on, you were right because she was amazing and we had a blast We should have blast, yeah. Yeah. So I, we go to Chosan and I go around the corner and I, just, I was like, I was hit by a train. I couldn't believe it. I was so delighted because there you see... Everyone that I wanted to see at that very moment. No, but I I'd go and I looked at everyone. I was like, um, "Wow, what a great thing!" And then, um, and then we ate. And then the show afterwards was even more magical. We all went to that Dumb. show in Koreatown, dumbfounded show, and that's where I saw Benedict and Aquafina and everybody. Aquafina brought me up on stage, and they got a cake for you. She got a cake for me. It was just a really cool night and um i don't know i uh it was really it really was one of those like so chill perfect too. evenings i think it didn't seem forced or anything what's the matter yeah it was great thank you so much are you emotional about it yeah yeah i'm emotional about it yeah um 50 is a hard one mm. it really is it's what a hard makes one. it hard I might having I might be having a midlife crisis. In what way? I don't know. I feel like you know when um, Neil Pert, you know who Neil Pert is. Mm, no. I think so. You guys know who Neil Pert is? I don't look know. it up. Don't, I'll tell you what he is. I don't know. What it looks like. Neil Pert was a drummer, one of the greatest drummers of all time. Um, he was the drummer for Rush. Oh yes, of course. Okay, so Neil Pert. I love Rush. Had a couple of tragedies happen. You know, I think his daughter died. And then his um, wife died right after that. And he just got, I, I don't ride motorcycles, but he got on his motorcycle and he just drove for four years. Like the band didn't play. You know what I mean? He was, the only way they knew where he was was postcards. So he'd be like somewhere in South America on his motorcycle and there'd be a postcard from some small little, dinky town, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, that he's staying at, you know what I mean? And he didn't um, talk to anybody. He just rode into the, you know what I mean, into the night for four years. And then one day, he just shows back up four or five years later. And he goes, I think I'm ready to play now, right? Now, do you think that that was a crisis or a freeing of his soul? Like, that doesn't sound like a crisis. It sounds like a man. I think when they say midlife crisis, I I don't really agree. I just think that it's like I um, I feel like, you know, I need, you know what I mean, to do something drastic almost like, you know, in terms of my career or, you know, I mean, just little fantasies that I have of like, you know, just riding a motorcycle into a town what you wear a cowboy hat you know you know what i've always with a felt buckle (laughs) suspenders i've always wanted to just go in an rv with you and the animals and like 
That'd be fun. Dive deep into yeah. America. That'd be fun. Something like that, though, where it's like, you know, I'm just, you know, I, I was, I, where was I? I was in, what town was I in? I was in Wisconsin or I, one of these, t- uh, I don't know, it was Wisconsin. I got to figure out what it was. So sorry, I'm, I, I, just give me a second. I was in either, um, where's Wise Guys at? Oh, it's Salt Lake. No, it wasn't Salt Lake. I think it was somewhere. Oh, no, you know what? You know, no, I know where it was. It was um, Omaha, Nebraska. Okay. I was in Omaha, Nebraska, and I was in this weird coffee shop, right, in some mall. But now it wasn't really a mall, like, the structure. And it was hard to find. It's like you, you have to go down this, like, viney tunnel. And then, like, you walked in there, and you could tell this coffee shop had been there for, like, 40 years. I mean, it was just old. And... um. I just sat there and had a coffee and it looked like I felt like I was in a different time period or, you know, even country, you know, it felt different. And I, I remember sitting there for hours. I was writing, you know, and it was just like. And the people that would walk in were people that I normally don't see, you know, what I mean, people from a different era almost. Right. And it was almost like really cool. And it was one of those things, too. It's like they don't know who you are. Like no one knows who I am. Not that I'm famous now. Like, I can still walk around L.A. No one knows who I am. That's not true. Are you crazy? But there are some places in L.A. I, I, if I go to, like, Koreatown, people know who I am. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Different places. West Hollywood. It, mm-hmm. I'll always get somebody. You know what I mean? But, like, this place was, like, no one. Like, they would just look at me like I'm just, like, a student. Like, foreign exchange student or whatever. Like, they don't know. <laughs> right? Like, I could be just, like, how do I, how I, you know, and make an accent. Yeah. And they'd be like, oh, where are you from? And I could just make up a whole different character. Yeah. And like, you know, and it's also, you know, way, you know, there's like when you order coffee from a place like that, they're just really kind, not because you're somebody. That's just what they are. Mm. Right. Whereas here it's like sometimes I'll go, I hope the waiter or, you know, the guy behind the counter recognize me so I get treated nice. Mm. Do you understand? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it's just one of those things that I'm, those a memory, and an experience that I long for. You know, but 50 is a big one because you think start thinking, oh, Diego Maradona died at 60. You Norm just died at 62, right? And you start thinking, do I have 10 years left? Mm. I know, but I mean, you don't know. Who knows, right? But it's like most of it's gone. That's an obvious, that's a truth, right? Most of it's gone. I'm not the healthiest guy in the world. So you just start thinking, and then when you're thinking there's not a lot of time left, there's something about you that's like, what do I, I want to do ayahuasca or whatever, you know what I mean? You start thinking. I know that brought the fucking, did I bring everyone down? Can we do Tiger Belly overseas? That's what I want to do is like in a couple of years, just move to some small, like move to some place overseas, Mm -hmm. do the same thing. But we live in a completely different environment. Yeah, if I, I might move to you know, I might got a, I might got a I, I think I might have got a job in New York so that's going to take me there for five months. I mean, we could do Tiger Belly there. Maybe that'll you know, I mean, I mean the kind of guests we'll get is completely different, right? Do you ever think of taking you're seeing yourself taking a sabbatical from all entertainment, yeah. like those actors that go like like Dave Chappelle? Like, do you see a whole year? Could you do that without this industry and do everything you talked about? I think I could. I think that I could. Um, I want to learn how to bake. You you know what? You really do? Yeah, yeah. Let's start with you learning how to cook rice because you're Asian. No bake. <laughs> yeah, I go rice first. You gotta learn. You gotta learn. No, go how for to the gold bake. Go, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to learn how to bake. I think you'd be great. I want to make it. clogs. I don't know what that is. Like clogs. Shoes? Oh my god! When is the oh, um, British uh, the British Bake Off the new? Um, are, are it's two episodes or already saw? Fuck! I'm behind on yeah, everything. Yeah. yeah, that was the weirdest recommendation after Squid Game. It was like, how about the Great British Bake Off? You know what? It makes like, sense. Yeah. You need something to yeah. come down. Do you watch that show? Yeah, it's the greatest show of all time. Yep. I think I honestly, anyone listening right now, it's the most wholesome show ever made. They're so positive, and I think why I like it is because. I could never be a contestant because if they don't like mine, my gut instinct is to smash everyone else's. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? The flying elbow? Like, yeah, That's no, why mate. I no, to mate. As a contestant. <laughs> no, mate. I'll go, yeah, no. All right. Hey, Jimmy, let me look at yours. And I'll just smash <laughs> it, right? And it's like it's chaos. Cut. 
But then you have you to doing? fight Paul Hollywood. And that guy looks like he can fucking fight. Wait, we should get Paul Hollywood on this show. Oh my god. I want I, Paul Hollywood, I want Noel Fielding. He's like Noel Yes, Fielding. Noel is I, like a legend. I love Noel, but like Noel him. is really nice. I think Bobby could square off with Paul Hollywood a Ooh, little bit. Paul. Oh yeah, Paul would know he would intimidate me the fuck out of me. Yeah, with his icy blue eyes. He also reminds me of like every AA sponsor I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> the archetype. No, he. That's the type I get. Yeah. That yeah. the formation of a man. Yeah. That kind of attitude, right? And then it's like I end up never calling them because they intimidate me. But I always want oh. intimidation. I always want. I need a leader in my life. You know what I mean? A male role. F- my mom, my dad was not there. You know what I mean? I need some. I need a role model, man. Who would you say is your man? I thought I was the male leader. In your no, you, I, you are the male leader. But when I. <laughs> Yeah. What? What'd you say? Who is who would you consider your male, I guess, mentor in Hollywood? That actually like you can tell put time to be like, oh, I'm gonna fucking help you. I mean, he died. There's a couple people that have died. Like Carl LeBeau was like that. Hmm. You know, I mean somebody that was like, Come over to my house and me and my girlfriend are gonna cook you dinner. Hmm. Like a salmon dinner. Like that's never happened before. Um in regards to you saying you want to bake, and that's something that's coming from deep inside you, um, in the words of Jack Johnson, <laughs> don't don't let your dreams be dreams. I think that it can be a reality, and I think that it can really. I turn know into I'm gonna. I know I'm gonna do it because I'm a man that. If I really want to do something, I do it. Here's what I fear: yeah. the cleanup. I feel like that's gonna just fall on me. That's the toughest part about it. Yeah, Jules, clean it. <laughs> you know, it's just powder, right? What do you call it? Uh, powdered sugar. No. Flour? flour. Flour. It's more. You know, there's more than just oh, flour. Flour is cement. Once it gets wet, if there's caramel. Yeah, there's caramel. caramel. Uh-huh. There's like there's there's everything, sweetie. There's sticky things. You know, I just I want to go to the store right now and get some stuff to bake. Let's start with some. Well, what would you bake first? Portillo. Oh, no, it's closed. What do you mean buy baking stuff at Portillo's? No, I just go g- get that little. You know what I mean? Oh. Cookie, you, just try, you know what I mean? That's already dough, pre doughed. Let's oh, go to Vons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go to Vons. Anyway, what a great podcast. You're not in a midlife. How was it? I don't think you're in a midlife. Coach. How was this podcast? It was good. Um, do we what, have. What do you think? We have a question, yeah. Unhelpful advice with Bobby and Kalila. This is not unhelpful advice, but someone wanted to share a dream with you guys that involved you both, mm. and they would like help uh, interpreting it. Dear Bobby, Kalila, Gilbert, and everyone, I love you. I dreamt that me and my dad visited Bobby and Kalila at your house. Your house had two bathrooms. At one point, I really had to go take a shit, so I went to the bathroom downstairs. It was decorated with crystals and gold and had a very special, calm feeling to it. Mm. I thought to myself, this must be a very special bathroom, and it was. Because the next thing I knew, Kalila came yelling in the bathroom, this is Bobby's special bathroom. No one but him can use it. I sprang from the seat naked and confused. I could hear Bobby's frustrated, sad yelling from the garden. I tried to explain to you guys that I didn't even take a shit before. Uh, Kalala came and stopped me. You believed me eventually. Then you guys pointed me to the upstairs bathroom, and I smiled at the thought that I finally got to take a shit, so I closed the door, sat down, and began. But stumbling in my, came my dad, who had broken the lock or something, and screamed at me that he had to take a shit, and that under no circumstances could he use the one downstairs because it was special. But I couldn't get up the middle of I couldn't get up in the middle of everything, so he just took a shit in his pants right there. Interesting dream. What does this mean? Have we talked about your bathroom on this podcast? Well, for starters, I'll say that we have a very future bathroom. We have one bathroom that's future. And it really fucks me up because It's a good one. What the like, you know, it's the one where it senses you're approaching, oh. so it turns itself on, it's yeah. self-cleaning. So what happens is if I go back to a regular bathroom, I now don't think I have to flush. I, I, I look I look at bathroom, I look at toilets, and I wait for the seat to lift up on its own, <laughs> and I'm there for five minutes, and I'm like, gosh, like why isn't it going up? And that's what happens when you have a future bathroom. Yeah, but you know what, what the most dreadful thing is? is what? When you use the bathroom, you specifically, right, the seats are up, right, and then you leave... So what happens is the seat goes down automatically, right? Yeah. So when she leaves, I've done this before where I, I went to piss, and I'm peeing, standing up, and you see the lid coming down, <laughs> right? And, and you have to lift the fucking automatic oh, thing, you have to- and you feel like you're breaking it, because it goes... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, I mean, it it's doesn't even sense you then. It, it doesn't, doesn't sense... No, it because... It doesn't sense your dick. I know, I, I think because I went in right away after you, uh, it, it, they think that we're the same person. It, yeah. 
or something. I don't know. It's weird. It's just happening. Well, you know what's weird is the fact that you're waiting right in front of me while I'm peeing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to. It's like a long ride. I need to get on. I get in line. But the thing is that that we have a panel. It's cool. There's a panel of. And it has like different massage options for like how you want the water temperature to be. Heat warmth. Yeah, it's a heated seat. Heat seat. I mean. Heat yeah, warmth. heated seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's got um. When Bobby and I first moved in here, yeah. we must have spent like two hours just like in awe of the toilet. We're like, I mean, how long do I spray my butthole? Thirty minutes. Thirty he minutes. He just sits so there, just long. full I love blast it. I love spray it. into his asshole. Feels so good. Um, I don't I know don't what feel that. Good. Okay, we need. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't feel good. Claudia, what were you saying about the dream? What was your interpretation? Oh, sorry, guys. Of the, hey, I, I I don't know what weird, to say huh? besides like I don't know special bathroom. That's the, the main thing about this, is that you guys have a special bathroom that... He- I'm really just happy that you had such a pleasant dream about yeah. visiting our home. Truly, really, those are my feelings, and I don't know... You're welcome invitation. anytime, bud. You're welcome anytime, <laughs> you, if you're you, not a creep. Bro, you got an open invitation right there. Um, do you guys have any shout-outs before we end this? Shout-out to me. Please stop. <laughs> he said it like, well, itching his dick. Yeah, shout-out to me, baby. My fl- They're picking me up at 6 in the morning. Well, no. fuck, they won't be if you got the vid. No, no, no. <laughs> Any shout-outs, Kalila? Um, To so, me. <laughs> there you go. I'd like a shout-out to me. I might need it. Sup? Shout-out to me. George, any shout-outs? Shout-out to you, Gilbert. That's hey, a... George, shout-out to you. Shout-out to Pete. Nice. Love Pete. Hey, no, don't, don't share <laughs> my shout-out. Love Pete. Uh, we love you guys so much. Make sure you follow Bobby at Bobby Lee Live, Kalila Clam DK, George at George oh, underscore Kim O'Lee oh, at Gilbert, and follow us on Tiger Belly. We love you guys. Good night. For the last year... <laughs> it has yeah, been it's been a year. Kind of. Guys, for this last year, we've been doing this singing competition. Yeah. And um, we got amazing submissions. Uh, not only made masterpieces, and uh, this is a, some music from one of the winner. winner. Yeah, we have a couple winners. Yeah, this is song, one, one winner. And this song is from one of the winners. That's right. We were truly impressed, and congratulations. Enjoy. Hey, Slap Kingdom. I'm Jack Champ, and today I'm performing the Tiger Belly song. Uh, if you feel like checking out more of my music or anything like that, Here's where you can go, and the soldier's papaya to you. Thanks. Easy peasy When I rap like Stevie Weeby 
Get jiggy with it. It's on. Get jiggy with it. Pretty good, huh?